Hi everyone, this is Chris Hoffman and here are my three favorite tips to create your perfect warm-up. Warming up for me means exactly what it says. Getting the blood going, loosening up my hands and especially developing a touch for my practice session or for the gig. There are also warm-up exercises you can do that focus more on your mind when you're exploring new rhythmic environments or learn new phrasing ideas, but these tips are specifically designed to warm up our hands. And for that reason, you need to find something that you already can play that needs no brain power in the best case. Tip number one is to use our raw speed. And raw speed means the physical ability and the speed that we play at with one limb. And as an example, we play different groupings with our hands. Groupings of eights, fours and twos. And to make it a little bit more interesting, we add a flam at the beginning of each grouping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, eight. Eight. Four. Four. Flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, one. There's no speed competition in doing a warm-up. George Lawrence Stone, the author of the, the famous drum book Stick Control, he gave some advice, some practice advice on the first couple of pages of his book that I translated in some sort of a short formula that says accuracy plus endurance equals speed. And for that reason, I prefer to play at around 70 to 80% of the maximum tempo, but I do it over a longer period of time and I really care about the clarity, control and the consistency of the notes. That's the three times C, so that's my personal reminder. I go for clarity, control and consistency. Topic number two is to work on our pattern speed by combining non-alternating stickings with alternating stickings that enables us to lead also with our non-dominant hand. If we take a paradiddle diddle for example, right, left, right, right, left, left, this is a non-alternating rudiment and if we want to shift that sticking to our non-dominant hand, we can do that by playing a double paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right. Right. The additional exercise would be to play three times the paradiddle diddle followed by one double paradiddle. So the idea is to take any sticking or any rudiment you want to warm up with and add an alternating sticking to shift the original idea to your non-dominant hand. Tip number three is to use ornamentations. As our basis, we play alternating 16th and play the 3-2 Roomba Clave as accents. Ornamentation example number one is to play a flam for every accent. Ornamentation example number two is one of my personal favorites. We play a single beat drag into the accents of the clave. That means the accent becomes the target note and pay attention 
to the sticking because this one alternates. Ornamentation example number three is to play a role. And we're gonna do that by playing diddles for every non-accented note. So whatever exercises I'm choosing to warm up with, they usually fall into one of the three categories. So I hope you get an idea to create your own exercises for your personal warm up using raw speed, pattern speed and ornamentations. If you're interested in more lessons like these on how to warm up, how to practice, there's an entire course on art of drumming. So I hope to see you there or somewhere here around YouTube.